Have you ever felt trapped in a swirling tide of negativity? Voices clamor around you, their energy draining rather than nourishing, leaving you feeling lost and adrift. It's time to break free. Right now, let's take a deep breath and truly consider. Who shapes the environment around you? Do the currents they create propel you forward or threaten to pull you under? The ancient Stoics philosophers dedicated to the pursuit of a virtuous life understood the transformational power of choosing our companions wisely. Their teachings remind us that we are not at the mercy of every external force. We hold the power to curate our own inner circle. Imagine this, some people are like steady, life-giving rivers. Their presence offers clarity. Their support helps you navigate challenges with strength and resilience. Others are tumultuous storms, their negativity and doubt brewing a tempest within you. The Stoics believed that to live with intention to protect our inner peace, we must sometimes distance ourselves from those who bring chaos. This isn't about weakness, but about cultivating a mental garden where personal growth can flourish. It takes courage to say no to draining influences and yes to those who genuinely amplify our potential. But how do we find these sources of strength? It starts with turning inward. The Stoics practiced constant self-reflection. Can you honestly say that all your current connections are contributing to the person you want to become? Do their values echo your own deepest aspirations? This journey isn't about shutting people out, but about prioritizing those who align with your purpose. Imagine the freedom of surrounding yourself with individuals who see your worth, who celebrate your victories and offer constructive support when you stumble. They become mirrors reflecting your best self, fueling your determination. Let's face it, this path takes effort. But the reward, inner peace, a clearer sense of direction and the confidence to pursue your highest goals. In the words of the Stoic philosopher Seneca, associate with those who will make better men of you. Remember, you have the power to cultivate a life-giving circle, to choose the currents that steer you towards a more fulfilling existence. So let's ponder, do the voices surrounding us uplift or drag us down? Shedding toxic ties isn't merely self-care, it's a testament to our resilience, fostering tranquility amid life's tumult. 1. Establishing personal boundaries emerges as a cornerstone in this endeavor. In an era where time is currency and energy finite, delineating our spheres, our time, energy and emotions proves indispensable. Picture boundaries as cartographic delineations, demarcating our domain, what we accept, reject, and hold sacrosanct. They epitomize self-respect and acknowledgement of our intrinsic worth. Without these delineations, we risk succumbing to burnout, forfeiting autonomy amidst societal glorification of perpetual busyness. Fostering boundaries necessitates self-awareness, discerning our values, discerning energy drains and nurturers. It's a continual journey of vocalizing needs assertively, navigating life's complexities with grace. Imagine the liberation of setting boundaries, charting a course aligning with your essence, nurturing authentic connections. Reflect, what boundaries beckon in safeguarding your time, energy, and mental well-being? Remember, boundaries aren't barriers, they're conduits to genuine connections. In the labyrinth of human communication, expressing sentiments and opinions cautiously emerges as an act of sagacity. Each word we utter holds transformative potential, capable of fostering unity or discord. Stoic philosophy, steeped in equanimity, serves as a beacon, advocating deliberate responses over impulsive reactions. Picture the empowerment of selecting responses consciously, transcending instinctive impulses. Why temper expression, you may ask? In an age of instantaneous connections, depth eclipses speed. Thoughtful articulation mitigates misunderstandings, preserves relationships, and fosters empathy. True strength lies in embracing differing viewpoints respectfully, transmuting disagreements into avenues for mutual growth. May our words echo authenticity and compassion, illuminating paths of understanding. In this narrative, compassion emerges as a guiding light, illuminating paths of empathy, yet Selective compassion underscores the wisdom of directing our altruism where it's most efficacious. Analogize it to a focused flashlight amid darkness, 
judicious allocation of empathy, preventing depletion amidst vast adversities. Recognize that we can't alleviate every plight single-handedly. Prioritizing self-care ensures we're well-equipped to extend aid when feasible. Navigating life necessitates prioritizing oneself, cultivating authenticity, and fortifying resilience. It's not egocentricity, but a prerequisite for enriching interpersonal connections. So let's embark on this odyssey of self-discovery, nurturing vitality and authenticity. For in prioritizing ourselves, we lay the groundwork for meaningful interactions and authentic living. Embracing adversity isn't a testament to defeat, but a testament to resilience. Each obstacle presents an opportunity for growth, a crucible for fortitude. Acceptance precedes transcendence. Acknowledging life's trials catalyzes transformation. In confronting adversity, we hone emotional resilience, harnessing control amidst chaos. Envision the liberation of navigating life's storms, emerging unscathed, imbued with newfound strength. It's in the crucible of challenges that our metal is tested, our resilience forged. Finally, thriving in the face of adversity is a demonstration of strength and determination. Resilience, the muscle built through adversity. Imagine our resilience as a muscle that grows with each challenge we overcome. Every obstacle faced, every problem solved, strengthens us, adding intricate details to the mosaic of our inner strength. Imagine looking back on your life and seeing a complex, beautiful artwork, each piece intricately placed as a testament to your resilience. This isn't just a metaphor. Neuroscience tells us overcoming hardship literally rewires our brains, establishing new neural pathways that help us face future challenges with greater adaptability. Think of it like this. Facing difficulty is a workout for your resilience muscle. Embracing adversity and discovering our inner strength empowers us. It transforms fear into bold action, turns doubt into possibility, and reframes suffering as a catalyst for personal growth. We uncover hidden reservoirs of courage within ourselves. It becomes an invitation to explore our full potential, knowing we can withstand any storm life may bring. Love. That irresistible force, the yearning for deep connection that shapes our lives. But like fire, it can warm us or consume us. How do we find a love that empowers both ourselves and those we hold dear? The Stoics offer us a surprising yet liberating answer. Love most fully when we embrace freedom. Imagine a magnificent bird, its wings a symphony of color. To cage it is to deny its very essence. Yet, if we nurture it, then release it into the vast expanse of the sky. Then both bird and admirer experience profound joy. This is the stoic ideal of love, wings to soar, not chains to bind. It doesn't diminish the intensity of the feeling, but elevates it. They wanted us to learn this, to love a lot, but in a way that keeps us firm and at peace inside. So how about we try to live love this way, transforming love from need to choice, Loving with freedom means choosing to be together out of mutual growth, not a desperate need to fill some inner void. We are already whole beings, yet with love, we become even greater. Think of two stars orbiting in harmony, each brilliant in its own right, their combined light dazzling the cosmos. But what about change, the inevitable ebb and flow of life? The stoic heart accepts this, not with sadness, but with profound gratitude. Every shared moment becomes a treasure, knowing that even if paths diverge, the love we nurtured leaves an enduring light within us. This philosophy teaches us how to treasure even moments of bittersweet farewell, the art of evolved communication. Now let's extend the stoic wisdom to how we communicate our feelings and opinions. We often mistake impulsive outbursts for strength, but they are more akin to a wildfire, destructive, leaving scorched earth behind. The stoics teach us that true power lies in harnessing our inner world much like a skilled rider guides a spirited horse. Imagine our words as arrows. They can carry wisdom meant to uplift, or they can wound when shot with haste. In a world where a hasty tweet can ignite conflict, stoic composure is our shield and our sword. We choose our words as a sculptor chooses their tools, with precision and respect for the material at hand. True communication, as the Stoics understood, 
transcends mere words. When we listen, truly listen, with the intent to understand rather than to merely respond, we create a sacred space. By allowing ourselves to be vulnerable, exposing the hopes and fears within, we forge authentic connections that no fiery debate could ever achieve. Friends, the Stoic way is an invitation to love with open hearts and unwavering self-worth, to communicate with empathy, respecting even those who think differently. It is the way of the wise gardener, nurturing growth rather than stifling it, and perhaps most counterintuitively, it is the path to a richer experience of love and a more harmonious world. Living in the power of the present moment. The wisdom of Stoic philosophy emphasizes anchoring ourselves in the only moment that truly matters, the present. After all, isn't that where life truly unfolds? Each inhale, a fresh start, each exhale, a release of the past. However, it's incredibly easy to become prisoners of our own minds, lost in regrets, or consumed by anxieties about a future that may never even arrive. This robs us of the vibrancy that exists only in the here and now. Living fully present means breaking free from those mental shackles. Our attention, so valuable and so often squandered, becomes like a laser beam, focused on what we can influence in this very second. Imagine the clarity of mind that arises from truly inhabiting every experience, be it a challenging conversation or simply the act of savoring a meal. Not only does this enrich life, but research suggests that it enhances our problem-solving skills and helps us make better decisions. So how do we cultivate this presence? Awareness is the first step. Simply notice when our thoughts wander. Then, without self-criticism, gently guide our attention back to the richness of the present. This might be our breath, the sensations in our body, or the sounds around us. Practices like meditation and mindfulness are like mental weightlifting for developing this skill. As we get better at it, our appreciation for life blossoms. The beauty in the mundane reveals itself, connections deepen, and even hardships feel less overwhelming when we face them with the calm focus that presence brings. Gratitude, the key to inner peace and flourishing relationships. In those quiet moments when life's distractions fade, gratitude has a way of finding us. The ancient Stoics understood appreciation is a superpower, one that brings both inner peace and strengthens our bonds with others. It's more than politeness. True gratitude is recognizing the immeasurable value in life's simple gifts. This could be the warmth of the sun, a loved one's support, or the hard lessons we learn from mistakes. Neuroscientists have discovered that practicing gratitude alters our brain chemistry, reducing stress hormones and increasing feelings of happiness. Imagine that. Our inner world literally shifts when we focus on the good. Practicing gratitude also cultivates a mindset of abundance. Rather than constantly chasing more, we learn to find contentment in what we have. This is incredibly liberating and sets the stage for personal growth. Cultivating gratitude also ripples outward. When we express sincere appreciation for others, we strengthen relationships and inspire them to do the same creating cascades of positivity and kindness. The transformative power of a grateful heart. Let's cultivate gratitude as a daily practice. Take time to pause, reflect, and notice the blessings, big and small, that surround us. Write them down, discuss them with loved ones, or simply hold them in your heart. Most importantly, gratitude is a powerful tool for building emotional resilience. When life throws curveballs, as it inevitably does, a grateful perspective helps us bounce back faster. It allows us to see possibilities even when circumstances are bleak. We realize we are connected to something bigger, to a web of support, to the natural world, and to the boundless potential of the human spirit. This sense of connection gives us strength, makes us more human, more complete. Let's join on a journey of discovery, where each day presents an opportunity to nurture gratitude, not as a chore, but as a precious gift you bestow upon yourself. As you awaken each morning, take a moment to reflect on something you're grateful for. It could be a simple pleasure, a small blessing, but acknowledge it. Over time, you'll witness how this practice gradually transforms your life, infusing it with more light, more peace, 
and a profound sense of aliveness. Remember, gratitude is not a destination but a path, woven day by day, moment by moment, breath by breath. May your journey be abundant, meaningful, and above all, grateful. Self-sufficiency and independence, Autokeia. This concept echoes the wisdom of ancient philosophers, particularly the Stoics, who advocated for finding joy and contentment within oneself, rather than relying excessively on external factors. It's not about withdrawing from the world or denying the need for others. Instead, it's about cultivating inner strength and resilience. True self-sufficiency entails striving to be fair, courageous and balanced, irrespective of external circumstances. These virtues become invaluable treasures that anchor us amidst life's challenges. By embracing self-sufficiency, we lessen the sway of external opinions and circumstances over our happiness. But how do we cultivate this self-sufficiency? There's no magic formula. It's a journey of continuous self-improvement, marked by facing challenges head-on and learning from setbacks without allowing them to define us. Along this path, we discover that genuine happiness emanates from within, not from external possessions or circumstances. Flexibility and adaptability, embracing life's uncertainties with grace and resilience is crucial. It's about finding joy and contentment in the simplicity of everyday experiences, while staying true to our authentic selves. May your journey be adorned with moments of profound discovery and joy, revealing the immense strength that resides within each of us, life surprises, when flexibility is your superpower. Ever have those days where the universe seems to be playing a cosmic prank on you? The alarm fails, your coffee's cold, and your Zoom call drops right as the boss is explaining the project. Frustrating, right? But what if we flip the script? Ancient philosophers called Stoics had a genius idea, being flexible and adaptable in the face of life's chaos. They knew we can't control everything, hello, malfunctioning technology, but we can control our response. Bend, don't break the bamboo principle. Imagine yourself as bamboo in a storm, strong yet it bends with the wind, refusing to snap. That's adaptability. When life throws a curveball, we don't freeze in frustration or wish things were different. We move with the change, learning a new way to dance. This helps us handle challenges with less stress and sees problems as hidden opportunities for growth. Your mind, your gym. Think of every obstacle as a surprise workout session. At first it's brutal, but over time adaptability makes you mentally stronger, smarter. Each challenge stretches your problem-solving muscles. Plus, seeing the bright side, even when it's tough, is a habit of flexible thinkers. It makes stressful situations feel more manageable. Stoic wisdom for modern madness. Next time things go sideways, breathe deeply, like a seasoned Stoic. Assess what you can control, then roll with it. It's less about what happens to you, and all about your reaction. You might not fix the problem instantly, but your mindset will definitely improve, potentially leading to those creative solutions you wouldn't see if you were panicking. Flexibility is a superpower in today's unpredictable world. It lets us turn life's surprises into fuel for growth. Want to dig deeper? If the Stoics sparked something in you, subscribe. Check out these related videos to explore this powerful philosophy further. It could transform how you think about everything. The journey starts now. Let's reshape our minds and conquer whatever life throws our way.